Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new series on the channel for Valheim. Now this is a game that's been out for just a little while now. It is still in early access, although from my understanding it is extraordinarily polished and it's supposed to be a lot of fun. I've not really looked into it a whole lot and I really don't know much about it other than it can't. It is supposed to be a co-op game. I believe I can play it single player though, but we're going to give it a try. We'll see what this is all about. We're just going to kind of dive in and just... Yeah, just kind of see what's happening. I have no clue. Let's go ahead and start this game right here up. So we're going to uh, make ourselves a new character. Uh, male, feet. Not much difference between male and female. Okay, we'll stick with male. Super white. Let's just go from there. Okay, we can go around. Uh, long braided ponytail. Side swept. Okay. Okay, that's all we get. Uh, let's let, let's do that ponytail three. That looks good. Beard. Lovely, lovely beards here. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you? Do that? <laughs> it kind of went nuts. Yeah, that'll do. I like that. Okay, cool. And of course, I can spell my own name. Done. Lovely. All right, let's start. Uh, into our world name. Buckaland. Okay. I'm going to enter a password for this server right here. Uh... Okay, that'll work. Sure, this'll do. I have no idea what I just did. Well, I assume it's going to load at some point. So long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the boughs that held their prison to the World Tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. Dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. Okay, interesting. Ooh, we have a cutscene. So I'll move the camera around while looking at this bird. Hello, bird. Hello, me. I guess that's me. Being carried by said bird. Oh, the distance back there. What is that? Is that part of like the world train? What's happening here? Oh, oh. Okay, we're landing. A little choppy. It's a little choppy. I may see what I can do about the choppiness. It's kind of annoying. Oh, oh, hello. Trees. Hello, trees. Oh, hello. Okay. Well met. Okay, standard RPG controls. WASD. Lovely. Zoom in, zoom out. Vigvisir. Vigvisir. Ichthir. Ah, okay. Here's our map. Okay, so. Cool. Okay. All right, and this is the quest. I am Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. All right. 
Mouse one is attack. Mouse three is mouse two is block, and that's secondary attack. That's a kick. Okay, interesting. And then mouse two and space is dodge. Oh boy. Okay. These magical stones. This is known as a big visir. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as sign as signposts. If inspect it closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ichthyr, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to defeat to you need to properly arm yourself before defeating him. Okay, so he is okay. So that's what it's telling me. There, there's a guy. Oh my god, this world is massive. Okay, so he is over there. Okay, cool. It looks like I'm wet. He's leaving. Going somewhere else for me to ch chat with you, or did you just he just bugger off? Okay, um, sure. Well, let's go. Oh, what's all this over here? What? What? What are you? What is that? I'm probably gonna die so quickly. Is that like a? Oh god, it's coming for me! Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's ugly. It's a grayling. Oh, well that was... Hello. Whoa! So we got a rag tune. Okay, that went away real fast. Okay, let's see. Oh, there he is. Hey, old warrior. So we got a torch... Brings light and warmth, drives back the darkness. We got some rag tunics. <clears throat> got some resin. Trophies. Uh, no, friendly fire is disabled. Active effects. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, what else can... I probably should have looked at the controls. Where's... Here's controls. Okay, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hide show weapons space. Yes, yes, yes. Inventories tab. M is map. Toggle. All that kind of stuff. Okay. Just needed to double check that real quick. Okay, so there, there he is again. Hello. <clears throat> Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will come back to you. My lesser brother Moonin tells me one can bash in a stone axe out of wood and stone. Okay, so if I get some wood and stone. Oh, it's a dandelion. Oh, I picked up dandelions. Okay. Is that a stick I can use? No. <laughs> Did I just punch the tree? <laughs> punch the tree. <laughs> Is that actually doing something? Or is it just me being crazy? That's interesting. Wait, did I pick something up? Okay. Oh god, there's another Grayling. Or resin. Raspberries. I'm assuming I can eat those. Okay. Oh, I heard. Oh, there he is. Oh, I just saw him. There you are. Come here, buddy. What you got for me now? I found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you'll grow hungry again. Okay. So we have to have food, which I can see that in the lower uh, left hand corner is how hungry we are. So now comes the question is where do I get some sticks from? I mean, I'm just sitting here punching a tree. Surely that's not how you I mean, I should be able to just get a stick. Get a stick. Or you know, I'm in the forest. There should be more dandelions though. Oh god, another grayling. There's so many graylings! Hello, buddy. Ow. 
Oops. And he turns into resin. Okay. All right, let's take a look around and see if I can't find a stick. These look like sticks that I could get, but I can't. Jesus God almighty, with all the graylings. Hello. Oh, I see a rock. Yeah. Okay, he's, he's buggered off. Okay, I found a rock. I just gotta find a stick now. Be a stick. He following me? No, he just kind of wandered back off into the woods. Okay. Yeah, I found a rock. No more dandelions. Am I actually collecting those? Yeah, I think I am. Okay, rock rock was added. How do I find a stick? Oh wait. Ah. New material wood, so we can now make stuff. Crafting recipe torches. Ah yes, we can make things. Uh, stone axe, a club. So I need four stone, five wood. Okay. And then we'll also make a hammer. Okay, well, let's go get some material then. So here we go. And with it, with a, an axe, I'm probably going to be able to cut down those trees. Just have to find some more stone. What is that noise? I don't know, but that sound is really odd. Oh, it's a deer. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Okay, can I make a can I make an axe? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's make a stone axe. Oh, good deal. I've made it on my first stone axe. Ah, yay. There's an axe. So with this... Oh, look at all that timber. Oh, yeah. Chop of the wood. Lovely. Lovely. Let's go find some more rocks then, maybe. And uh, I kind of want to at least make one of everything. I wonder if this stuff has a uh, durability to it. It does. It has a durability. Okay. 95%. Oh, God. Here it comes again. Don't put the axe away. I don't want to... Okay. Oh, no, not that. Oh, interesting. Okay, I can have two things out at a time like that. That's kind of nice. Um... I do that. I can eat to regain a little bit of food. Okay, so it's slowly putting my hit points back up. Like it looks like that was not very nutritious. My hit points are slowly recovering. Need some more stones. I want to make... I want to go ahead and make a club. As, oh, I can go ahead and craft a club, actually. Alright, I have an axe. Uh, does this, like, give me any indication of what I'm supposed to be doing? Message log, food...
Well, I believe I'm supposed to be going ahead in this way, so let's, uh... Let's go make a huge mistake, then. Go take him on. Don't follow me. I bet I can make a salad with this stuff. A dandelion salad? I mean, that's a thing. Oh, it's <laughs> a jumping skill. <laughs> it's, okay, I have jumping skill. Well then. I have like a, yeah, 24 out of 300, okay. Ah, there's more stones. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make a hammer then as well. Good. Oh, and now I can do um, cooking stations and workbenches. Cool. Oh, he brings tidings. Where are you at? I heard him. Well, his little thing popped up that he was trying to talk to me. Where's he at? Oh, there you are. What are you doing over there in the tree, dude? I'll chat with you. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This in turn will enable you to construct other things. Okay, well, let's uh, shift on. I, I love RPGs that keep standard RPG. What was that? I don't know. I heard something I didn't like. Um. Okay, so where's. Wait, I wonder if I need to. Uh, four? Yeah. Ah, here we go. Oh, build menu. Okay. I need 10 wood. I also could do a cooking station. I need 10 wood for that. Well, we have our trusty axe. Let's go, uh, how much wood do I have? Three? Okay, so I definitely need more timber. I will have a mighty, mighty bow to kill you deer with. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Boom, boom, boom. Dead and gone. Lovely. I don't need that thing out, though. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to make this workbench at. I guess it doesn't matter, really. I guess I'll set it up somewhere basic to start. Okay, so it kind of makes... Okay, I see how this is going to work now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> rotate. Ah! Rotation. Lovely. Uh, you know what? That'll work. Wow. Lots of stuff. Okay. So, Hugo and the workbench allows you to cra cra craft complex items. Wow, lots of stuff popping up here. Crafting station needs a roof now. Uh, building. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a little complex here. Oh boy. Okay, a wooden pole. A two meter wooden pole. A thatched roof. A wooden wall. Oh my gosh, this is like full of everything. Furniture, beds, chests, miscellaneous. I do want that cooking station though. I don't have any cookable items. Okay. Good to know. Good to know.
eat a little bit more. Looks like I'm still hungry. Okay. Um, I need more timber first. Don't need the. I don't need the torch though. Chop the big tree down. He's got a lot of health. Oh, there it went. Beach seeds, huh? Then. Oh god, it ran me over! Ow! <laughs> you can get run over and I got some feathers. Good lord. Okay. Cool. I think. Alright, um, let's see. Okay, I guess I have to have a roof over this thing. God. I mean, like, swarmed by graylings here. Good lord. I'm trying to figure out exactly how, like, works. I mean, do I have to do a wall first, or...? I mean, that right there snaps. So, that's that. So, this does snap on. Ah! No! Bad! Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um. Sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm trying to figure out the building system, the crafting system here, because I'm real confused. I need more timber. It's also dark out now. Which that's terrifying. Dark in games is always real scary. Oh, oh I feel cold, huh? Well, that's not good. I shouldn't feel cold. I'm like scared for some reason, guys. I am legitimately kind of scared right now. Okay. There's that. Can I... Will you clip onto this edge right here for me, maybe? Why aren't you clipping on? I'm trying to figure out if this thing is snapping or not. I have no idea. Is that working now? Oh, now it works. Okay. Cool. 
Hey, buddy. That's so bright. When the temperature drops a night after you're wet, you will suffer from being cold. Seek shelter by an open flame. Okay. Uh, so probably want to make campfire, which I need more stone for. Man, this is like a tiny little <laughs> place here. Get my club out just in case. Or graylings show up. Timber. Kind of hard to see, to be honest. It's kind of hard to see. It's actually kind of hard to see because that torch is super bright. But then without it, I can't see what, see what I'm doing here. Stone. It's kind of nice because you can just, like, walk over it. Hey, come here, you. I want to... Oh, there's a... Okay, if, if other games have taught me anything, wild boars are absolutely freaking terrifying early in the game. Like... Oh, okay, I can zoom out more. Oh, God, I was, like, right up on him. I'm sure that was driving a few people crazy. I was right up on top of him. Um, oh, is there stones around his? Oh, there are. I'll take that. Hey, look, that's where the stone and the timber was at. <laughs> Get you started. <laughs> oh, well. I figured it out now. Uh, I've got five. Good. That's That's what I needed. Let's get back over to whatever this thing I've built is. And... Campfire. Okay, so there's a campfire, so I can warm up. It is floating. That's okay. Oh, we can't upgrade them with, like, bone fragments and stuff. That's kind of nice. I can make a hoe. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I saw also that I could make a, I can make a bed. It just needs eight timber. Well. Yeah, I guess I'm going to want the bed near the fire. Hello, Hugan. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. Okay. Well, don't mind my random uh, little setup right here, because I don't know what I'm doing with it quite just yet. But I do have at least a bed, a campfire. Um, I had to put more fuel in the fire as well at some point. Probably need to like actually make my house look reasonable. Uh, but I think this is actually... Oh god, I'm on fire! Holy god! <laughs> okay, a little too close, a little too close. Bed needs a roof. Oh god, of course it does. Well, guys, I think we are going to uh, have to build a roof in the next episode. I'm actually kind of having fun with this. This is uh, a little different. We'll see what's going on with it. We'll expand my uh, my shack here. I'm getting next to the fire. Shut up. But yeah, so far, so good. I am don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure that out going forward. Thanks, guys, for joining me. I hope you're going to enjoy some Valheim and a little of me messing about trying to figure out how to keep my little Viking man alive in this cold, unforgiving climate. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.